the National Association of EMS Physicians is a very special uh, family as well within the EMS community. NAMSP, founded in 1984 by a handful of, of, of clinicians, now has evolved into a big association, over 2,000 members, physicians, nurses, EMS clinicians, administrators, educators, researchers, you name it. We're sort of the, the forum that fosters that excellence in EMS. It is really the fundamental organization for those involved in the clinical practice of EMS medicine. EMS is huge and NAMSP has allowed us to actually take this giant segment of medicine and sub-segment it and get specialists in to push and further where we're at in our advances and to advocate and do policy and decision making and evidence-based guidelines and really be a collaborative force of some of the most genius, kind, passionate, motivated people that I've ever met. The inspiration comes from the academics, it comes from the, the science, it comes from how these people solve problems and how people are so devoted to this craft. NAMSP Conference is the place to go for pre-hospital research. Outstanding topics, wonderful poster walks, they're the best topics, best oral presentations. The most impactful EMS research is presented first at NAMSP. One of the most important things about the National Association of EMS Physicians is the, the collegiality. It's this networking. It's knowing that you have a group of individuals, uh, 2,000 of your best friends, that you can reach out to on any given moment, any given time, to get some guidance, some help on all these sort of gray issues that we in this business find ourselves in day in, day out. NAMSP has been an incredible core to my professional life because I think I went to my first meeting 29 years ago and I really haven't missed one since. It keeps getting better, but I think that's because people we have out there are really great and they really have a great attitude. I joined in the very beginning when I first became a deputy medical director at New Orleans EMS and the support, the education, the leadership that I received has been really unparalleled. This was the first professional organization that I joined when I was in residency and recognized my career in EMS. This organization has meant more to me than I can even speak, but over the last 20 years that I've been involved with them, it's about standards in clinical practice. It's about knowing the legislation that affects our profession. But you know the best thing about NAMSP? Networking. I've learned a ton and met some really wonderful people there, including my deputy medical director who I met and hired at NAMSP. It's just that collaboration with other organizations and also it's welcoming of people of all disciplines that are involved in pre-hospital care that makes it such a rich environment with so many opportunities for its members. When I think of NAMSP, I think of progressive, I think of intention. And so it has been great to see over at least the six years that I've been involved in NAMSP, how significantly that has changed to not only um, highlight diversity, equity, and inclusion within committees, but on the national stage by having national guest speakers that represent different ethnicities, that represent different diversities, um, and by bringing in more diverse members so that all can feel included. Everybody is just really there to help and support each other. It's not a ton of physician and professional organizations where there's so much collaboration and everybody's just so open with making everybody else better for the, for the good of patients across the country. And AMSB is sort of that family who um, not only fosters the research, the new methods, the new ideas, concepts, it's also the forum for young clinicians and young researchers to present their research and sort of get their careers growing. As an early career EMS physician, working through NAMSP has allowed me to both make really strong connections with people in my cohort who are also early physicians, uh, but also has offered tremendous access to people who really have pioneered and invented the field of EMS medicine. We've been very, very blessed over these years to be able to uh, exchange these blessings of patient care, you know, to, to learn together and to be devoted to the right cause, which is helping people get better. What we do as 
emergency medical services physicians will very much influence what happens beyond there in the whole course of the patient's experience in the health system. Every time I go, I get to learn about new research from the people that did the research, and it really energizes me. So the very first NAMSP conference I ever went to uh, was when I was an EMS fellow, and I went to the new member reception. And Phil Moy, who is one of my mentors, uh, who did his fellowship with Jane, came and introduced me and said, this is Jane Rice. I was really nervous. She was somebody I really looked up to, um, not just for what she's done for emergency medicine and EMS, but really as a woman in leadership in a specialty that we don't necessarily see that. And when I nervously said like, oh, it's my endorsa and I'm an EMS fellow, uh, she looked at me and said, I know who you are and like brought me in. And that was the moment that I realized that this is a place that I belong. And she created that for a lot of different people. And I think that's what this organization creates. It's my um, kind of professional home. I, I, I really enjoy being there. I like being in our meetings. I like being at our committee meetings. I like just being around all these people that are inspirational to me. Well, I hope that professional members will know that they're welcome at NAMSP, and I hope that it continues to grow. I don't know that it needs to change very much. I think that they are, the members of NAMSP are creating knowledge and then disseminating that knowledge to the EMS community. And anything that they can do to increase that knowledge dis distribution to the EMS community would be great. Get involved. There are no barriers to you being involved. Somebody that has a passion about something in this organization and wants to devote their time and effort and energy to it, we need you. We want you. You can be a part of the future and really advocate for the thing that you have passion for. It will give you a chance to form those bonds with the people that are already doing it in the organization and have them help grow you into those roles. Many of those relationships that we develop with NMSP are the ones that we then lean on as we develop research projects, as we partner to find out how to implement things in our own EMS system. And quite a few times I have been able to interact with colleagues from across the country or establish a new project because of relationships that I developed in a committee of NMSP or getting involved in simple things that we would do in an annual meeting. The meetings are always spectacular, but all of the networking and all of the work in between the meetings is just incredible for uh, someone in building a career. We're seeing a lot of great energy in our EMS space right now. A lot of innovation, a lot of new ways for caring for patients in the community. I do believe that AMSP represents sort of that forum for that critical exchange of ideas so we can learn from each other but also facilitate the dissemination of that learning. And AMSP is going to play a more critical role in that space. It has always played a role, but I think it's going to be bigger in the coming years. This organization is now well entrenched, well founded, and continues to make contributions and dedication of the people that are involved in it. And that guarantees a future. So the other thing that I want to say about NAMSP is happy birthday. We're coming up on the 40th anniversary of NAMSP. Time has definitely flown for our young profession. We are clearly established now, and it is a result of the hard work of NAMSP. Happy birthday, NAMSP. Happy birthday, NAMSP. 40. Who knew we were so close in age? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to NAEMSP. Happy birthday, NMSP. 40 years, 40 years proud and strong. Happy anniversary, NAEMSP. I'm so happy for you. So I can't believe that it's 40 years, but uh, uh, the progress has been remarkable, and the dedication of the people involved has been a source of real uh, satisfaction to me and to see it happen and I just sit back and enjoy it <laughs> and don't do any more work. It's great uh, but I'm a great supporter and will continue to be.